Do you mind going back in time with me and playing my favorite game? Let's do it. It's behind the scenes! Oh! Oh! Um, well, ironically, <laughs> let's kick it back to all the high schoolers drooling, save the last game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So well, I learned something so amazing from Julia Stiles. I mean, I learned so much from Julia because she had done a bunch of films. This was my first studio film. And um, one day it was really, really, really cold. We were shooting in Chicago in the winter, uh -huh. so cold. And we had in these really cute outfits. But they weren't very warm. They were just very, very cute. And the director was like, one more time, one more time, one more time, our brilliant, wonderful director, Thomas Carter. And finally, Julia said, I'll do it as many times as you want when you take off your coat. <laughs> And he said, what? And so he took off his coat, and then we did it one more time, and that was it. Yeah. So good. So good. Wow. Right? I love that. Love that. All right, Ray. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness this love film is so incredible. Um, I just have to say, like, People will often compliment me on the kind of number one that I am. When you when you go to work in showbiz, there's a call sheet, and That's the lead right. character is the number one on the call sheet. And you find that however the number one acts, everybody else kind of takes their cues for how to be on set. And when people say that I'm a good number one, if that's true, I always say I owe it all to Jamie, because he is the best number one on a call sheet ever, 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 ever. I love that story. Yeah. yeah. All right, I love this film so much, I've seen it way too many times, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, so fun! The thing I loved the most was that I learned to rock climb for that film, because there was a scene oh, uh, uh, where she and I are climbing the rock. And talking about And talking him. casually, yes. And so we took rock climbing together, and we actually shot it on this giant styrofoam plastic wall that looked like rocks in like a parking lot of an Ikea. Uh -huh. uh, but it looks like we're in this gorgeous mountain in the middle of nowhere, yeah. All right, Django Unchained. Oh, this is goodness. a yeah. beloved, bold <laughs> Yeah, Yes, film. really bold. What? was going on there. I mean, I, I, I will say there is a scene, people often ask me if this, if this is true, and it is true. There was a scene where Leonardo DiCaprio, who's so brilliant in the film, actually smashed glass and had a bloody hand and did the scene, finished the scene with a bloody hand. And so in the scene, he goes to touch my face later, and Quentin wasn't sure if he wanted to use the take with the blood or not. So every moment after that moment in the movie, we shot twice. We would shoot completely bloody with him touching my face with fake blood. Um, and then we had to take everything off and shoot it again totally clean because he just wanted to have the option in the edit of blood or no blood. And Quentin Tarantino. I mean. I love know. him so much. Yeah. Boy, has yeah. he put such incredible things into the world. Yeah. Okay. Scandal. <laughs> Olivia Pope. <laughs> know what to say about her. You know, she just, she totally changed my life. You know, she really did, um, I think in a lot of ways, she taught me a lot about how to be a leader. You know, she used to say, it's my name on that door. And in some ways it was like, it was my show. Like I had to have that same sense of responsibility and feeling like I could lead something. And I think playing her helped me fool myself into thinking that I could. And you can. And yeah. that's the point of characters yeah giving you an emboldened yes. nature that yes. sometimes we can't give ourselves. It's yeah. so strange. Yeah, it's like that, um, I have a friend who says, fake it till you make it, you know? And sometimes characters give you the permission to do that. It's so sometimes true. Sometimes you just gotta wake up and put on the bold red lip and then you might feel sexy as the day goes on. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. And lastly, I could not love this more also, Little Fires Everywhere. Oh. I so good. I just love Reese Witherspoon so much. I just love her so much. And we had so much fun like getting in the ring with each other because we're actually like beloved friends. We adore each other. And so the days where we would have our big character fights, it was every there was like all buzz on set. Like everybody was going to watch a big match and we'd like really have to rev up to battle each other on camera. And it was just so fun to be able to play that way with a good friend. And we'd do the scene and then we'd look at each other and be like, we can be worse. You know, and we'd go again. <laughs> it was just so fun. Oh my God, I love yeah. it. Well, it really paid off.